taking a page out of Any Impossibility in Metal Shaping by Cass Naraki. I have to do some spot welds on this truck that I can't reach with my resistant spot welder. So what I did is I bored a hole through a nut for a number five TIG cup. Then on the bottom side, I took a bolt, I cut it down, turned the threads off of it and welded it for the other side of the clamp and then clad it with a piece of copper. So now I have the machine set to 90 amps, which is what Cass recommends. I have the uh, tungsten recessed inside of the cup by about 30 thousandths. Um, and then it, it fits right in there. The ceramic of the cup goes all the way to the parent metal. It's resting right onto the parent metal now. And then for about 10 seconds, What you end up with is that. There's the underside there. I did a destructive test on one single part and that's the kernel that it left, which is far superior to the kernels on the truck from the factory. And then as a destructive test, I did three and hammered a chisel down inside of it. And you can start to see it's tearing the parent metal and pulling away from the spots before it wants to break the spot. But there it is, piece of copper, a nut and a bolt. And then I just took a little bit of stainless filler wire and just kind of stuck them together. But the key is to have the two pieces of metal clamped tightly together. There you have it, using a TIG torch as a resistant spot welder. And like I said, it's a 332nd tungsten, uh, recessed about 30 thousandths, and I'm running 90 amps for roughly 10 seconds.